Eden's mission is to engage with people and to, to reinforce that core message about the, the importance of nature, the importance of human relationship to nature. So, Julian, can you explain a little bit about the Eden Project, how it started out and what, what is it? Eden Project started out as the dream of a couple of individuals who had been involved in restoring a garden in the southwest of England and then got delusions of grandeur <laughs> that they could see that there was a way, p plants and horticulture was a way of explaining to people how we should all be better connected to the world. So they started to think about ways in which they could communicate that better to a wider public. Mm -hmm. This is well over 20 years ago yeah. that, that these first conversations were having and then from there they, they developed an idea to take a piece of land that had no plants on it. They found in the end a former quarry that had been used for mining clay, China clay, yeah. for use in uh, pharmaceuticals and the paper making industry. And this site was a huge crater in the ground, no plants in it whatsoever, and they said, this is where we're going to make a garden. Why? Well, I guess part of it is that the, the idea of transformation was very important to them. Okay. And uh, this is an area of, of the UK where there were quite a lot of these very scarred pieces of landscape. Mm -hmm. And the idea of telling, the, telling these stories through that kind of piece of land was very important. So the idea of you know, bringing back to life mm. Uh, was a really important part of the whole process. Mm. And actually, you know, that, that idea that this takes us on to ideas about sustainability, I guess, more generally. The idea that we shouldn't just be doing the minimum amount of harm, but we should be regenerating wherever we can. So Eden Project's been a great sort of example of how we can repair the land. So they found this, I mean, quite impossible site to build on. So what did they do or what did you do? Well, so those things are true. The other thing was they were still mining the site. So we were trying to design buildings to go onto a site. And whenever we came back to look at the site, it had changed. Yeah. So we actually ended up designing buildings that could accommodate those changing topographies, which is why we ended up with a design of things that were basically parts of spheres, parts of balls, mm. because then it doesn't matter quite where the, where the ground is, you can still design the structure that's going to support it. The inspiration was like bubbles on, yeah. a, on, a, on a surface of water? Because bubbles will, will change and you can get the same, same diameter of bubble, but it will adapt to, the, to a change in the ground that it's sitting on. Mm. So that, yes, that was the inspiration. And what we're trying to create was the right environments where the Eden Project client could grow plants from all around the world specifically to tell stories through those plants. So the plants are, I mean, they're beautiful to look at and they're great to be around, but they're, they're, they're a medium for telling stories mm -hmm. about how important the ecosystems are to our life. Mm. So at Eden Project in Cornwall, all of those stories are around how plants support humans. So it's about the relationship between plants and people. And they called it at the time, the living theater of plants and people. Thank you.